Good morning and welcome to today's chair yoga class. It's going to be an all around class today. Let's get started by sitting in our chairs. So finding a comfortable seat, make sure you're supported. Scoot back in your chair and sit up tall. If you like, roll your shoulders and press them back and down. And close your eyes or look downcast. So completely supported by the chair for now. Bring your awareness to the sounds in the room. Become present to your environment. Bring your awareness closer in. Notice the feel of your bottom on the chair. The clothing against your skin. The air against your skin. Bring your awareness closer in and notice how your body is showing up for you today. Notice if there are any aches and pains. If your stomach is rumbling or digesting your breakfast. Maybe you feel your heart beating. Bring your awareness to the tip of your nose. Feel the breath moving in and out of your nostrils. Follow the breath inside. Feel the movement of your rib cage and belly as you breathe. Notice the state of your mind this morning. Is your mind able to stay focused on the present moment? Or are you racing out with thoughts? Re-anchor yourself by focusing on your breath. Observe the feelings that are showing up for you today. As we move and stretch, we release stress in our muscles, and that may have a stored emotion connected to it. Allow those emotions to move through you without attachment, judgment, or aversion. And going within, find the silence that's underlying all this activity.
allow an intention to form for today's practice. That could be something you want to experience or a person or cause that you'd like to dedicate your practice to today. Gently open your eyes, come back into the room. Perhaps sit up a little more forward. We'll anchor that intention by doing ohm circles. We're gonna take a deep breath in, bringing the arms up as high as works for you. Bringing the hands together towards the heart while sharing the sound of ohm, but we're going to break it into parts. So the first time we'll do ah, Second time, ooh, third time, mm, and the fourth time, om. Oh. Here we go. Deep breath in. Uh. Put it all together. Oh. Let's move into some warm ups. Bring the chin down. Length in the back of your neck, length in the front of your neck. Keep the shoulders relaxed and down. And back to center, stretch up tall and lower your ear to one side. And if you like, reach your opposite arm away. Bring your head back up, your hand back to your knee. Inhale tall, ear to shoulder, reach the opposite arm away. Nice stretch from ear to fingertips. Hand to knee and back up. Rotate, look over your shoulder, soften your gaze. Come back to center and look the other way. And back to center. Bring the hands together in prayer position. We'll add some arms, pressing the hands nice and firmly against each other. We'll turn the head one way and the shoulders the other. And come back to center. Turning the head in the opposite direction of the shoulders. And coming back to center, going at your own pace. Last one. And back to center. 
and do some shoulder rolls. And shoulder roll the other way. Let's bring the elbows in against the side body. Turn the palms up as if you're holding two trays. We're going to close and open, squeezing the shoulder blades towards each other crossing one arm on top of the other and then switching arms. And now with the arms out, we're going to curl one finger in at a time and then curl the wrists in. Flatten and uncurl one finger at a time and point the fingertips down, press out through the heel of your hand. Keep squeezing the shoulder blades down and back, hands uh, parallel to the ceiling, curl one finger in at a time and then curl your fists in towards your torso. Stretch the back of your wrist. Straighten your wrist and then uncurl one finger at a time. And then press through the heel of the hand, pointing the fingers down. Come back to flat. We'll do one last set, curling one finger in at a time. Curling the wrists in. That's an intense stretch in the back of your wrist, isn't it? And straighten the wrist and uncurl one finger at a time. And then point the fingers down, press out through the heel of the hand, and shake those hands out. Good job. Let's bring our hands to the chair and widen our legs. And we'll do a little windshield wiper, opening up the hips. And let's end with the feet flat on the floor. We'll do a little ballet move here. We're going to come up onto our toes, pressing the heels forward. Come on down to our heels, lift our feet up, our toes up off the floor, and the balls of the feet. Coming down, pressing into the balls of the feet, lifting the heels. Press those ankles forward. Come on down. Come onto your heels, lifting as much of your foot as you can. Come on down. Stretch the front of the ankle, come on down, lifting the foot as much as you can, pressing the heel into the floor, pressing into the ball of the toes, pressing into the heels, lift the feet up. One more time, pressing down into the balls of the toes, heels up, and pressing into the heels, balls up. Good, and let's toe heel back to center, so we're moving our ankles, and then toe heel out. Giving those ankles a little twist, Toe heel in and toe heel in. Sitting out nice and wide. Oh, no, one more toe heel in first. We'll come back to wide leg in a second. First, we're going to stretch one heel out. Inhale tall. Exhale, come forward with a nice straight back. Draw the belly in for support. Relax the shoulders and the face. So you're lengthening from your tailbone to your head and to your heel. And then coming forward, coming over that leg, 
You're gonna round over the legs somewhat, but try not to curl and lengthen your spine as much as you can as you come over that leg. Breathe into the stretch. Let gravity pull you down. Inhale, slide yourself back up. Bring that leg in. Notice the difference. Stretch the other leg out with the toes turned up. Inhale, tall, belly supporting you. Come forward with a straight spine. Feel you feel that stretch in the back of your leg. One more long breath and then begin to slide yourself down towards your foot. Again, try not to just curl in. See how much you can lengthen the front of your body. Let your head relax. Inhale, slide your way back up as you uncurl your spine and bring that leg in. Now we'll walk the legs back out nice and wide and we'll stretch one leg out. Bring your hand to your hip, reach towards that leg. If you like, the other arm can come up and over. You can even slide your hand down your leg. Can rotate your head and look up. Lots of choices here. Honor the one that's right for your body. Inhale. Come on back up. Bring your hand to your thigh. Again, you can spin your body right here. Bring that arm up overhead or reach your arm alongside your ear. Roll your toes up towards the sky. Roll your rib cage up towards the sky. And Come on back to center, bring that foot to the floor, shake out your legs a little bit. And planting one foot firmly underneath your knee, the other heel comes up as you stretch that leg out. Inhale tall and slide down over that leg. Well, first, we're just keeping the hand on the hip. You can bring the other arm up if you like, or overhead. You can slide this hand down your leg. Lots of choices. Press into the opposite foot. Keep that knee pressing back. Inhale, spin your rib cage and your head towards the sky. And bring your head in line with your spine. Come on back up. Bring that leg in, shake the legs out. And bring them back to center. Take a breath. And notice how you feel. Bring the hands to the chair behind you, walking them as close together as you can. Bring the shoulder blades under your heart. Lift your chest towards the sky. Lift your chin without throwing your head all the way back. 
Soften your gaze. Nice deep breaths. Lovely back arc, strengthening the muscles of your chest and back to help your posture. And inhale back to center. Take that in. Roll down. One vertebra at a time. Inhale, back up. You have an option here to do the same pose that we just did, or I'll demonstrate the next option. With your hands behind you, you'll walk your feet forward about 45 degree angles, maybe hands by the edge of the chair. Take a deep breath and press your hips forward and lift them as high as you can. So now your knees are approximately over your heels. You're lifting your hips, squeezing your shoulder blades and lengthening your chin up towards the sky. So I'll come sit back down and we can do that together. So you're either sitting in your chair with your hands to the back of the chair, squeezing your shoulder blades, lifting your heart, pressing your feet into the floor. When you've had enough of that, you can do a roll down like we just did, or bringing your hands to the front of your chair, walking your feet forward about 45 degrees. Take a deep breath in and slide your hips forward and up. So your shoulders are over your hands, your knees are over your feet, your hips and your chest are lifted and your neck is long. Bring your head back up, walk yourself back onto your chair. Sit up nice and tall. And we'll share that roll down, chin to chest, shoulders come forward, rounding your head towards your knees. And inhale, rolling back up. Let's do some sit to stands. You can bring your arms out in front of you or hands at your heart in prayer position. We've been doing eight, so maybe we can do nine today. Inhaling up. That's one, come down nice and slow with control. Skip a set if you need to. Two. And down. And three. And down. You want to have your knees right over your heels. Inhale, four. And down. And five. So notice how. Let's sit down first. When you come, you come forward first and then come up so that the nose is over the knees. And down. Doing great. And seven. And down. And eight. Keep going. And down. And nine. We did it. Yay. Shake it out. So you're going to stand behind your chair, but I'm going to stand in front so you can see what I'm doing. Let's start in Tadasana. 
to reach down through the soles of the feet, draw the kneecaps up, tuck the tailbone, lift the belly, and roll the shoulders up, back, and down. Remember, you might have your hands on the chair. I want you to step back from the chair. So if your hands are on the chair, you're as far away as you can. And take a deep breath and step your left foot forward into a lunge. And step back. And now forward, step your right foot forward into a lunge. So your elbows will probably bend, right? And step back. And step your left foot out and come into a goddess pose. And step back to center. Feel how this is working your balance as well as the strength in your legs? Step out. Probably need to slide your hands along the back of the chair. And back to center. Press your hips back into chair pose. And up. I'm going to relax my hands. You can do a second set the same way, or you can add arms. So if you don't need to hold on to the chair with one arm or both arms, and inhale up. Step your left foot forward into a lunge. And step back. Hands back down. Inhale up. Step your right foot forward into a lunge. And back down. And remember, it's perfectly okay to not use your arms, just be holding onto your chair. Inhale out into goddess. Or maybe you're just holding on with one arm, back to center. Inhale out to goddess the other way. And back to center. Interlace your hands, press your hips back, coming into chair pose. And back to center, hands on your lower belly, bringing that energy into your, it's called Dantian or second chakra. In Chinese medicine, this is where your energy is stored. And let's stand next to my chair, and then you're behind it, I assume. We're going to do a little bit of sunbird. So starting in Tadasana, you're going to lift your left heel and place it down. Oops, I'm going to be on the other side. Okay. Lifting your left heel and placing it down. If you don't need to hold on to the chair, as you lift your heel, you're going to bring your elbow in. And reach up as you press the heel down. So the elbow comes down, the heel comes up. Heel comes down, elbow comes up. If you have the balance, Knee comes off the floor, elbow and knee come towards each other. And then. And let's bring the elbow and knee together and balance here. And you can be holding onto the chair with one or both hands. Good job. Shake it out. I'm going to go to the other side. And find Tadasana. So that if you're on the side of your chair, it's the heel that's closest to the chair. If you're behind the chair, it's your right heel. Then inhale the right heel up and press it down. Inhale that heel up, press it down. If you don't need an arm, and inhale the arm up, heel up and elbow down. Heel to the floor, arm up. Knee and heel up, elbow down, reach in. You can stay with this or if you have the balance, knee and elbow together and down. Good job, and shake it out. Go back to the first side. This time we're going to, well, I'm going to the side, you're behind your chair, right? 
and I'm going to change that so you can see. So this time we're going to take the right leg out to the side, either with the toes on the floor or pick it up. You want your feet parallel. So just like you're standing here in Tadasana, don't let the toes turn outward. Just sliding that foot out with the toes on the floor or picking that leg up. Oh, I did it wrong again. <laughs> oh, well, I wanted that arm up. So you're behind the chair, so you're okay because you're holding on with this hand. And if you feel safe, this arm is coming up. If you don't need to hold on to the chair, you can have your hand on your leg. Find your drishti. Good job. And down, shake it out. And you're behind the chair, so you can hold on with two hands if you like. You're in Tadasana, feet are parallel. Slide the foot out with your toes on the floor or lift that leg up. The feet are still parallel. You're not rotating from the hip. Find your drishti. And if you don't need to hold on with two hands, you're holding on with one hand and the other arm is up. Or if you don't need two hands, you don't need hands at all. The other hand is on your back. Good job, then shake it out. Whew. Nice work. Last one. Again, you're at the back of your chair or you can be at the arm of your chair. We're gonna do a plank pose. So we're gonna walk our feet back. So we're in a straight line. And if you feel to, you can bend your elbows, kind of like a push up, and then straighten. Bending the elbows. And straight. You can be doing the back of the chair or the seat of the chair, depending on your flexibility. Or maybe you're just staying in plank and not even bending your elbows and just hanging out there. And let's press back into a downward facing dog, bending the knees and lifting the tailbone, bringing the ears alongside inside the arms. Big spinal stretch, deep breaths. And then coming up and if it feels okay and safe to you, bringing your pelvis towards the chair, elbows back, chest lifts, coming into a cobra. If this isn't working for you, you're just standing, holding the back of your chair and arcing back. And press back one more time, bend your knees so that you can lift your tailbone, reach your heart towards the floor, feel your shoulder blades flattening on your back and your back and chest broaden. And inhale, coming into plank and then bringing your hips forward, your elbows and shoulders back, lifting your chest, or maybe you're just walking to the back of your chair, holding on and lifting your chest, arcing back that way. And let's bring the feet to the floor and slowly walk to the chair. And stand upright. Take your time so that you don't get dizzy. We're coming to Tadasana. And come sit back down on your chair. Good job, everybody. Take a few breaths here, taking in the energy, noticing how we feel. I'd like you to scoot your hips towards the front of your chair. Keep your spine straight and then begin to tilt back till your shoulders hit the back of your chair. You may need to adjust 
where you are, that your shoulders are hitting the back of the chair. You feel that a little bit of abdominal pull right there. So you're not rounding, you're not collapsing. If this doesn't work for you, again, just sit up straight. Keeping your spine straight with your shoulders supported. And let's pick one knee up. Again, maybe just the heel comes up or bring that knee in and give it a squeeze. Feel the shoulder blades down, the heart lifted. Deep breaths. And down. No abdominal work happening here. Bring the other knee in, give it a hug. And if you can't hug the shin, you can possibly hug the back of your leg instead. If this diagonal isn't working for you, do it sitting up straight. Not quite as much abdominal work happening. You can bring up the first leg again and give it a squeeze. And if you have the ability, you can bring your hand behind the leg and stretch it up with the foot flexed. And bring that leg in and down. Pick the other leg up, give it a squeeze. Remember not to collapse your body. You're still keeping your spine straight. Grab the back of your leg, if that works for you, and stretch up your heel. And in and down. So remember, you're working your way up. So stop at any level of challenge you like. So you can bring one leg in or both legs in. That's a little challenging. Woo! That's a challenge. And down. If you only did one leg, bring the other leg in. And this time, bring your hands behind your legs if you can and bring your legs up. One leg or both legs. And then. Let's cross our elbows and grab our shoulders. And inhale and sit up. Keeping the spine straight, we're gonna go back so the shoulders touch the back of the chair. Inhale, sitting up. Exhale, reaching back. Inhale, sitting up. Exhale, back. Cross arms the other way. Three more, or skip a set if you need to. Little abdominal work happening here. Last one. Inhale up, release your hands, jiggle out your legs, and sit back for a few breaths here, taking in what you've done so far. And sit back up. Okay. Sitting up nice and tall. We'll bring one hand across the body, the other hand to the back or the side of the chair, spinal twist. Inhale back to center, stretch up tall, bring your hand across, other hand to the seat or the back of the chair. Inhale back to center. 
you can stay with that variation. Or for more challenge, let's pick up the right leg, bring your hand across the knee, inhale tall, and then spinal twist, pulling your knee towards the midline. Inhale back to center, place that foot on the floor if you've lifted it up. Other side, you can stay with the first variation or bring your leg up, hugging that knee. Other hand comes to the chair behind you. Inhale tall, and exhale rotate. Inhale back to center, stretch up tall and one final forward fold, this time going all the way down if you can, letting everything go. Bring your hands to your thighs, <clears throat> round up. Stack one vertebra on top of the other. Scoot back in your chair so you're fully supported. Close your eyes. Take a few minutes here, letting the body absorb all the benefits of today's practice. You can stay here as long as you like. But when you're ready, begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. Bring your hands together and rub them briskly, building up healing energy. And cup the hands over the eyes. Release the hands and come back into the room. Namaste.